During the summer, when weather conditions are obviously far calmer in the channel, it tends to be spread out a bit, so you maybe get two or three hundred coming over multiple days in the course of a week. Uh, what happens, though, if you get uh, a week of bad weather, then effectively they're stacking up on the other side of the channel. We know, according to our producer who's been over there in recent days, there's still some 6,000 people camped in makeshift uh, encampments around Dunkirk alone, and that doesn't even take into account those that are camped around Cali. And when they get the opportunity, when the weather is calm enough, then you get a surge. That's why at the weekend we had 500 across today, in addition to the boat that got into difficulties about 3 a.m., uh, there were another six small migrant boats that came across the channel. And while, of course, the authorities were trying to deal with this very significant search and rescue operation, they also had to respond to these other sightings, which was diminishing the assets that they had available uh, to continue with that uh, air search and uh, see uh, search and rescue operation uh, that's still ongoing at the moment, but we've got, what, about a, an hour and a half or so of light left here. And when the light fades, I think it's likely that the main search and rescue operation will be called off. Yeah, we, we understand that uh, it may have been a fishing boat that initially came across them and, and managed to, to help with, I think, 30 people actually being uh, literally plucked from the water um, I mean, it, it's extraordinary that they managed to survive, given the, the, the water temperatures and the fact that uh, they were allowed to, to set sail from the beaches, given the conditions at the moment. Well, I mean, the people smugglers, I mean, they're not stupid, clearly, the people smugglers, and they've got a business model that works for them. It's not in their interest to kill those that they send out uh, into the channel. Uh, but... You know, clearly it's still a very dangerous enterprise, given that this is a very busy shipping lane. Uh, and when the weather conditions are better, they know that they can make it across uh, most of the time. But it doesn't take much to turn uh, what is a hazardous voyage into a tragic voyage. And that might be as simple as the wake from one of these very big vessels uh, that... Uh, navigate this very busy shipping lane and they do create huge wakes behind them uh, and of course at night when you can't see uh, a big wake coming towards uh, a migrant boat like this it could mm. certainly overwhelm a migrant boat or even capsize it. We know as you say that about 30 people ended up in the water. Some managed to stay on the vessel but those 30 in the water were in the water for quite some considerable time before some of them were rescued by the fishing boat initially. Then we had, of course, the lifeboats, border force vessels arriving on scene. Yeah, we, we've heard, too, uh, from the Home Secretary, Suella Brahman, in the, in the Commons, reiterating the announcements from Rishi Sunak yesterday on this sort of small boats command. But, I mean, it does appear that this operation today was pretty well coordinated with the French involved as well. Yes, I mean, they, in terms of the sort of cooperation and the way they work, they've been working, you know, very well together uh, for some considerable time. Um, now they've got a more permanent command uh, that will be called the Small Boats Operational Command that means effectively those that are on secondment are permanently part of that staffing uh, and should, in theory, mean that they are working uh, together more efficiently. That's at least the thinking behind uh, this move to make it more of a permanent structure. And with that will come, according to the Home Secretary confirmed in her statement today, more resources. She said a doubling of the resources that they will have uh, devoted to this operation, some 100 additional personnel at the Small Boats Operational Hub headquarters in London and some 600 down here in Dover and Manston uh, and in other areas where these small boats uh, come across.